Well, hello there once again. I am back with more Dishonored. Oh. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key Attention. Allies. Gee, I think. Living on the yes. north side of the river. Hopefully the high overseer is the first Boulevard step along that path. Well, of course he is. Find a girl. Although, you the... did it. Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. Why are you surprised? Gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. Ah, uh, Martin. Must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal. Is I'll tell you who's shitting himself. Is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. Impressive. We must act fast. Good no job. Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere. Waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. That's but a really nice a well effect. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with later. Sleep sounds good. I could use the rest. Not just yet. There are things I'd like to do first. Admiral! Alright. Do you have anything for me? We'll have to find Emily soon. With Campbell out of play, they're likely to move her. Don't suppose I can stab you? Oh, I can! But I suppose I shouldn't. Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility. Oh, that, that does not sound good. It sounds like... He's a bad man. Why am I not surprised? Attention, Dunwall citizens. You are reminded that assaulting a member of the city What are you doing here, by the way? Looking for something to drink? Well, that was helpful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I can kind of see that actually. Oh, is he in the slave trade as well? Oh, well, I've heard this much at least. Look at the coins! Sit in my coins and tell me that you love me. Oh, hello, Lydia. I know you're still alive. Most of my men that been in Cold Ridge Prison. Well, they had a bit of a rough side to them. I've made my mistakes. Move, woman. Gee, you think? That's six for her father, I suppose. Do you mean to tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly? Please. Sir. Oh no. I was never in service. Poor girl. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The hell No, she doesn't. Shut up. Day. If they were here, I expect did, did you, you do that? Sorry. That was kind of Sometimes I wonder if the plague is going to go on and on. <laughs> I just checked the bottle of the dude. Ever, and it's the end of the world. Think of that. Mm, I don't think I will, but thanks for giving us this sunny piece of advice. Would you like to say anything else, dear? Amazing. Amazing skill. Alright. This has been utterly useless. I should probably get to Pirello. That name. Italian, no? I believe so. Again, Lydia. Hello. Thank you. Anything you have to say? Nothing's been the same since the Lord Regent took power. But at least Campbell's gone and my uncle lived. Anything? And, and they're, they're singing, singing the old songs. Aww. Linking arms. 
but that's, that's for another time. I suspect that the old songs have something to do with the continent, which has something to do with the outsider, which means she's one of us. Part of the ship, part of the crew, and so on. Can I be of service to you? Of course you can. You can help me make some upgrades to my gear. Alright, new upgrade available. The blueprint I've brought to Piero unlocks this upgrade. Excellent. I love upgrades, as you have plainly seen. Mm, honestly, I have plenty of all of these. I don't think I'm going to buy any. I seem to be quite capable of finding all of them on my own. Let's see, mask optics. Oh, cool. Maybe I shall take it, but first I think we're going to take Carvo's pistol upgrade. Yes. Pistol accuracy. Oh, sure, why not? Pistol magazine. Add one bullet to the magazine. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to go heavy with the pistol upgrades, I think. Wait a second. Bullet capacity. This could be useful. Especially if I'm going as heavy on the whole bullet and pistol thing as I seem to be. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to shoot people very, very soon. Ah. My, there is something to you, isn't there? You went and spanked the high overseer in his own house. I hope the tools I designed for you function to your satisfaction. The oh, absolutely. Talking to you affirms that this is true in several ways. They absolutely did. Thank you very much. Why did I just do that? Well, I like feeling... Uh, well... Apparently no one needs this right now. The boatman has a good heart and respects you. Nothing new about that. Alright. A little teleportation every day keeps the fiends away. Oh, a book. Litany of the White Cliff. Let's read it. Excerpt from a series of overseer invocations by High Overseer Abram Templeton. I wonder if he too ended with the traitor's mark on his face. And I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand as a righteous force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together we will serve as a rod to those who would stray from the earth for the foggy grey wastes of the outsider. We will burn a bright fire with our virtuous actions so that others will not lose their way. And to those who choose to wander beyond the walls of our homes in far places, we will strike at them swiftly before they whisper to their neighbours, filling their hearts with strangeness and doubt. All right, this was a thrilling read, I will admit. Mm. I wonder if this... What is the name of this piece? Ah, uh, no such detail. That's a pity. I wonder if this is the outsider. Could be, could be. But then again, I'm looking at things and seeing the outsider every bloody where. Anything on this bed? No? No. Uh -uh. Fine, fine. I'm going. I'm going. Anything here? Oh! A tail. Um. Anything about. Da, da, da. No. I'm looking for. Oh! Corvo's proved his abilities beyond question. It's not anyone. Now we're faced with the question, could he be dangerous? Events are going to move quickly now. The storm's rising. Guess I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if this is the other, uh, the outside of uh, Summer Palace? Summer Tower, more like. Kind of not looking very good, but then again, neither is he, right? Let's see. 
Havelock Log Entry 2. Well, it seems that we have invested in the right man with Corvo. Not only did he free Martin from the office of the High Overseer, but he went into that viper's nest and sorted out Campbell personally. With Corvo in our company, I suspect there is no one in the world we cannot touch. We're now committed to this path. There is no turning back. Havelock, Log Entry 1. It has been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Piero spent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass-produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Coldridge, and if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of 1 in 5. Jeez, thanks. It's good to know that you are appreciated and people believe in you. Okay, we are not reading this, as I said already. Let's move on, quickly. Room to room. Yes, this episode is not going to be... Oh! My father served in the field under General Alfred Pendleton, where he took the wound that crippled him. I wonder if my father... I wonder if... Jesus, stop talking! I wonder if my father threw a bottle at your father. Anyway, that was a joke which was ruined. Pendleton's family crisis. Cousin Nana. Morgan and Cutsis. Custis. Custis? What a name! Continue to resist my efforts and are no longer responding to my letters. The servants tell me they have been absent from the manor for some weeks. My brothers have always been arrogant, utterly convinced of their own certainty. And they don't really give two figs for anyone else in the world, unless they want something and can't take it outright. But this disagreement over the upcoming parliamentary vote has reached a crisis point. Up till now, the Lord Regent has been somewhat restrained in his authority, at least where the holdings of the gentry have been concerned. If Morgan and Custis vote in his favour, the law will be changed and we will be at risk. Aristocracy or not, I implore you. If you know where they are, to speak with them. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I remember. I'm going to have to dispose of his brothers in one way or another. Memoir, Chapter 28. Waverly, Waverly, Waverly. The That's very name pretty, one away. pretty she came into look at Dunwall. She came into our cold, horrible hall and brought light and warmth. She changed our lives forever. It was only later I realized she was a traitorous little weasel. Like all the boils. Mm, good to know. Anything you have for me? 50 coins. I will take them. I will take your money. Of course I will. I have never let the fact that someone other than myself owes money to stop me from taking them. Oh, look. I have no job there as of yet. Oh, a coin of 10. Thank you. Any prizes? Oh, that that's cool. Mystical rat artifact. Oh my. What the? Can I do a thing with this mystical rat artifact? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Oh, did that give me an ability to have another active bone charm? I think it did. Huh. Cool. Anyway, let's find... Yeah, let's go unnerving target. Time to sleep. That's how you sleep. You just decide, I'll go to sleep now, and... Well, it happens immediately. Shall we have another meeting with the outsider now? I honestly don't remember. I hope so. Oh. Well, I suppose not. Can I trigger bottle at someone again? I feel like every opportunity where you don't trigger bottle at the person is a wasted opportunity in your lifetime, at the very least. 
come now. What is this pesky little admiral? Outside? Oh. And action. Wrong way. The state depends on you. This way? Yep. Yep. I'm on the right way now. Or not. Ah! Here I Hello. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. Excellent. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but... The servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Either way, kill him. Matches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Not really. I have absolutely no problems killing people. Ah. Runes. I have a disturbance in the rune force, I guess. How shall we do this? Oh, I know. Oh, I hear coughing. Those I know. This is not Weeper. What? What the? What? That's the outsider. No. No way. Why would it, the outsider be there? Hello! Oh! See? Whoops. I... All I wanted was to stop this thing from happening. Ah, there it is. A rune. A pretty little rune. Just like the ones Granny Rags used to give me. Oh, there are in fact two of them. Ha! Huh. What a nice little surprise. An ancient note. I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting. Or ever again, for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the result of our labours here for you to keep. But I expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. Well, I guess he never returned. But you know what? His loss is, frankly, my gain. Any secrets? Other secrets? Anything at all? No? Oh well. I'm curious to see who exactly the dude who looks like the outsider from his figure, purely from his figure is, in fact. Let's find our way upstairs. How do we do that though? Is there, like, anything here at all? Because if not, that's kind of a Weird room. Ah, that's the way. You went down there in the sewers. Of course I did. I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has probably am. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They, they want to talk to me. Of course they do. Yeah, of course it's not the outsider. But who is it though? Who are you? And why do your eyes shine? Wallace. Had a very fitful night. Of course. Why do I think of the outsider all the time? Maybe I have a crush. I hope. <laughs> Better than to crush. Ah. 
This joke is going to go nowhere. I trust you remember Martin. Of course I did. The guy in chains I stopped the overseer who was mocking him. Of course you do. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corporal. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. Excellent. The Golden Cat of all places. Yeah. A bathhouse. I knew that. Threats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. I told you. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. So we need to yes, remove the them. Have to eh? But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. What a charming thought. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Well, if I gotta go, I gotta go. I haven't missed. Oh! Anything else that the heart wants to tell me about Martin? Not that, 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 that. Martin, not in general. Do not be deceived by his talk of strictures. Martin's cries were I held the gold not as a patron, mind. Oh. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept them. You did? Could you share? Is curious? Don't. Are they like sex toys? Courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. <laughs> I'm sorry. I only thought. Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the admin. No. You poor, socially anxious person. Bye, Lena Hede. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? I always need ammunition or weaponry. Sad I don't think I have the money to pay for any of it. But I shall check nonetheless. Oh, I have 500 coins. Spring razor capacity. Now that could be useful. But you know what could be more useful? Pistol reload. Yes. If I will be going on an adventure filled with gunpowder and dead, thanks to my pistol, I should be prepared for it. Ah, the royal protector. Just the man I needed to speak with. More like the non-royal assassin at this point. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. Not more it's horrible than you are. Heard. Cruel beyond words. Not more cruel Further, than you are. My brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament. We cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These Why does that not surprise me? For exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has. Oh, the plague. interesting. I warned my brothers in every way I could. But I suppose I really they do eventually. They never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be you missing out, speech. boy. So it'll be dangerous. Of course they will. Please do it before I change my mind. Something tells me that you're not the kind who will change his mind, especially when it comes to killing the two brothers, who I suspect inherit vast amounts of money. Oh, interesting. Hello, my name is Samuel. Oh. This machine was tossed into the river by the Admiral, but I fetched it. And Interesting. It appears to be working. Let's see if it is. Test. Test. There we go. Please don't tell me Admiral... Uh, sorry. Samuel sleeps here. We read this book, right? Oh, no. I don't think we have. Actually... Yeah, we, we have. A few episodes ago. Let's not do it again. Alright, I think this is where we will stop. Thank you for watching. I had a lot of fun commenting on Corvo's latest shenanigans. And I hope to see you next time. Yes, of course it is, Samuel. But now I must say goodbye. <laughs>